Hello. And lastly, with a dumbbell row, um, there are a myriad of things we can talk about, but these are just the big ones that I've come across that I think are common mistakes people make. Uh, the last one is one that I've talked about before, and that's where people tend to do a row, and they basically bring it up and they retract the shoulder blade, which is fine, which is good, which is what we want, but then when they bring it down, they keep the shoulder blade pinned down the whole time. Uh, that's not going to be a great scenario either, because then we can start going into down rotation syndrome, and that, that just opens up Pandora's box into a whole other uh, debacle of, of shoulder issues and postures. So um, what I like to see is I tell people I want the shoulder blade to move around the rib cage as they're doing their set. So what I mean by that is they're going to be here, and they're going to bring the shoulder blade back, but then when they come back down, I want to get a little bit of a, a stretch at the bottom. Um, whether or not that means they're, they do a dead start um, dumbbell row where they go all the way to the floor, that's fine. We don't have to do that. But again, I want the, the shoulder blade to be moving around the rib cage. So I want, I want them to get a little bit of a reach, uh, a little bit more protraction in the bottom position because that's what our shoulder blades are designed to do. Certainly there are scenarios where I might cue somebody to keep that shoulder blade retracted in, in certain scenarios. Um, but for the whole, for the bulk of the people out there, uh, I'm going to want the shoulder blade to be moving around that rib cage and not keeping it pinned in that same position the whole time. So uh, hopefully these videos have been helpful and uh, we'll talk soon.